when you're on the front lines and you see these sick and injured animals and, and they're so stressed and they're in a lot of pain and suffering, it, it's heartbreaking. And, you know, so much of it is preventable. It's just thoughtless. The treatment varies with the presentation. So um, some animal like a large whale, obviously we would not be able to bring that into our hospital, but we do have training staff that can go out and assess those entanglements and hopefully cut them out at sea to free up that whale so that it can resume a normal life. For our patients that we're able to bring into the hospital that are smaller, so our seals and sea lions, we usually do try to bring them into the hospital so that we can get a good look at the wound and make sure that we're not missing a deeper persistent entanglement or something like a ruptured trachea or something that would threaten the animal's life later. The most common entanglements that we see at the center are um, sea lions that have been caught in discarded or lost fishing gear. Unfortunately, we humans generate a lot of plastic and many of these trash items have loops. So like packing strips, for example, that you might use to put around a big box when you ship it. Those packing straps are, are really solid, hard plastic. So when a, a marine, a large animal encounters them, or like any small animal that could get its little head or flipper or wings stuck in that, it can permanently disable or kill those animals. Try to throw out your trash properly and reduce the use of plastics and those things should start to have an impact. Cutting any loops that an animal might get its neck or a flipper or a bird might get its wings stuck in, especially like including our masks that we're currently wearing in the pandemic. So the little ear loops can actually be really, really strong. So if you discard a mask, um, please cut the loops. Um, packing straps, all of those things 